Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome everyone. I'm so pleased that we can be together to worship this morning in our Sunday School classroom. Now, if you remember from last week, we talked about it being the season of Easter, and so our greeting is a little bit different. So last week, I said to you, Christ is risen. And then you say back to me, do you remember? I'll help you along again this week. You say, the Lord is risen indeed. Okay, so let's try that again. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Well done. Let's find a quiet spot inside of us and get ready to hear God's special story. Let's sing our Getting Ready song. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Every week when we sing that song, we know it's time to get ready to hear one of God's special stories. This is the season of Easter when we celebrate the mystery that Jesus died and that God made him alive again. This is the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus. Two of Jesus' friends were walking down the road to Emmaus. They were very sad. Jesus had died. Why did Jesus have to die? They said. Why did Jesus die? And then someone came and walked with them. He told them why Jesus died. Stay with us, they said. And then the man took the bread. He blessed it and he broke it and he gave it to them. And then they knew. 
knew who it was. It was Jesus. Jesus was alive. Jesus was risen from the dead. And then Jesus left. The friends were so happy that Jesus was alive that they couldn't help but go back to Jerusalem. And to tell their friends, Jesus is alive. He is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. I wonder how Jesus' friends felt when Jesus died. I wonder what it felt like to recognize Jesus in the breaking of the bread. I wonder if you have ever been close to a table like this. To the bread and to the wine. I wonder how it feels to know that Jesus is alive. I wonder what it was like to tell the others, Jesus is alive, he is risen. I'm wondering how your artwork is coming along. Have you been drawing the stories after we do our Sunday school time together? I hope so, because I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the drawings that you have done over the past weeks when we get together again. So I'm going to put the story away for now. I'm going to light the Christ candle because every time we light the Christ candle, it reminds us that Jesus is here with us in our chapel. Now the story that I told you today is from the Bible. It's from the New Testament, from the book of Luke, from chapter 24, verses 28 to 35. And this is what it says in the Bible. As they came near the village to which they were going, Jesus acted as if he were going further. But they held him back, saying, Stay with us. The day is almost over, and it is getting dark. So he went in to stay with them. He sat down to eat with them. He took the bread and said the blessing. Then he broke the bread, and he gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. But he disappeared from their sight. They said to each other, Wasn't it like a fire burning in us? when he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us. They got up at once and went back to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven disciples gathered together with the others, and saying, The Lord is risen indeed. He has appeared to Simon. The two then explained to them what had happened on the road and how they had recognized the Lord when he broke the bread.
Our time together goes so quickly, and it's already time to sing our going song. So let's sing Go Now in peace together. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you. As you go into the week ahead, may God bless you with hearts full of love. I pray that you'll be kind to those around you, be helpful to those in your house, and I just hope that you'll have a good week going forward. And now I'm going to change the light. Mm -hmm. I'm going to change it so that it's not just here in our chapel with us. But it's everywhere. Everywhere we go and everywhere that we are. 